Okay. In this movie, we'll be talking about iOS Simulator. Thing is, it doesn't come with Macs. Um, but it does come with Xcode. So if you have Xcode, you can, um, it comes with that. And, uh, you can go get it. But, and, uh, but if you don't know where it is, go up to your spotlight. And then search in I O S Simulator. And then it should have that. The top hit should be iOS Simulator. So click that. And uh, mine is an iPad right now, but yours would be an iPhone. And this is great if you want to uh, well, simulate an iPhone. So, uh,. If you ever need to simulate uh, an iPhone, uh, this would be uh, good for you. The thing is, up in the menu bar, we hit uh, hardware, and if you're saying, okay, if we click rotate left, then it will turn to landscape mode. It doesn't. It just rotates left. And it, uh, you'd have to turn your head left to make it be in the Porsche in the uh, portrait uh, mode. So we're just gonna set it back to rotate right to be at the right position. <coughs> and uh, this actually does work. So we're over here, and we press the. Uh, the uh, the home button like on a real iPhone it goes back to the home or you can just go up to a uh, hardware home and uh, it doesn't just simulate an iPhone it go to hardware device and you can set it as an iPad Let me just zoom out the picture as you can see, it has an iPad. I think the iPhone is more realistic because I have an iPad, and uh, the normal iPad does not have a button as tiny as this one. So, this one looks does not look as real as the iPhone does. Now, the iPhone uh, Retina is... A giant iPhone as you can see and really takes up the whole screen and your dock down here it can even hide more of it and uh, one more thing the hardware make it on uh, make it an iPhone you can open up Safari Google uh, you can either type it down here Y O U and you can also type it with your keyboard too. You can go to YouTube, uh, press that, and then down here it should say install this web app on your phone. Tap uh, plus and then uh, uh, tap add to home screen. So we're just gonna oops. So we're just gonna uh, click that and jeez. Uh, Click uh, add to go add to home screen. Hit return, and then over on the second uh, screen, you uh, will have uh, a YouTube app. But since I already have one, I'm gonna delete it. Delete, and then press the home button to go back to its original form. I'm going to quit out of iOS Simulator. Do not let this replace your actual iOS device because, as you saw, it's not an exact replica of it. It's mainly for testing Xcode applications. So, if you ever uh, have an Xcode application that you want to uh, test for the iPhone, that is what you would use the iOS simulator um, 
if you have an iPhone or iPad application that you want to test out. So uh, that's just basically our iOS simulator. I think it's a great program, but uh, y uh, we all have different thoughts. So well, that's just uh, my opinion on it. So uh, that's another application review.